Over the years, I've spent hundreds, perhaps thousands of hours flying for business and pleasure. And I can say without a doubt, my life changed when I got my hands on my very first true travel credit card. After that point, I no longer had to scavenge for outlets by the gate. I didn't have to go and buy cold cut sandwiches pre-flight, and I most definitely did not have to just sit at the back of the plane. That's right, these cards allowed me to fly in first class, oftentimes for less than the cost of economy class tickets. In today's video, we're gonna go over my top six travel credit cards of 2024. And if you're new around here, hi, I'm John of John's Finance Tips. This is a channel we dedicate to talking about all things money. Let's get into it. So for all six cards, we're gonna talk about the sign-up bonus, the earnings, the benefits, the annual fee, and of course, my final verdict. And be sure to stick around till the number one card because it's the only one on this list that has no annual fee. The way that I've structured these cards are cards that I think the vast majority of people are gonna get the most value from. Sure, there might be some cards you disagree with. Let me know in the comment section down below about them. There are cards that you might love. Let me know in the comment section if you love them. And if you'd like to support my channel in any way, you can feel free to check out any of my top sponsored affiliate links in the description box down below. Number six, the Barclays A Advantage Aviator Red World Elite MasterCard. Or we're just gonna call it the Barclays American Airlines card. Sign up bonus. You will get 60,000 American Airlines miles after you make one purchase. That's it. Buy a packet of gum, 60,000 miles. Buy something from Amazon, 60,000 miles. Go fill up at the pump. Who cares? 60,000 miles. This card will earn you two American Airlines miles for every eligible dollar you spend on American Airlines purchases. You will earn one American Airline mile for all other purchases. Benefits. This card will give you a $25 credit to use for in-flight Wi-Fi every single year. Pro tip though, if you're a T-Mobile user, you just get free Wi-Fi. You either get four full sessions or you can get unlimited one hour sessions all throughout the year. This card will give you a 25% discount in the form of statement credits if you make any purchases for food and beverage using the card on an American Airlines flight. By having the card, you'll also get a free checked bag. By having the card, you'll be in boarding group four of nine. So you might actually even have a chance to carry on your carry on. And if you put a lot of spend on this card, like I'm talking $20,000 of spend a year, you'll get a companion certificate, which you can pay $99 for a guest plus tax and fees. So let's say you bought, I don't know, a thousand dollar flight. You can add a companion. They pay 89 bucks plus the associated taxes and fees. The annual fee, $99. Verdict, jump on this card. This card is 100% worth it purely for the fact that you can basically quote unquote, buy American Airlines miles for pennies on the dollar. 60,000 miles, a $99 annual fee. Let's put this into perspective. A flight from North America to the Maldives, flying on Qatar Airways Q Suite, which are those double beds that lie flat in the sky, that might cost you out of pocket five or $6,000. Instead, if you had American Airlines miles, which I did, I spent 70,000 American Airlines miles in less than $40 to take that exact same flight. So by just getting this card, you already have 60 of the 70,000 American Airlines miles you need. You can then go on and open maybe a business American Airlines card from Barclays or a personal American Airlines card from Citi, and all of a sudden you've got the miles, you're sitting in a $5,000 business class flight for pennies of what it would actually cost you. So yes, this is a card I 100% recommend. If you've got spare time, open it, call it a day, buy a pack of gum, done. Coming in at number five, we have the US Bank Altitude Reserve. Sign up bonus. You'll receive 50,000 points after you spend $4,500 in the first 90 days. The value of these 50,000 points, on the low end, 500 bucks, on the high end, $750. Earnings. This card will earn five points for every single dollar you spend booking prepaid hotel and car rental through the Altitude Reward Center. You'll also earn three points for every single dollar you spend on travel as well as on mobile wallets. So if you link your Altitude Reserve card to Apple Pay, Google Pay, or Samsung Pay, every single transaction that goes through that is 3X. And you'll earn one point for every single dollar on all other purchases. Benefits. This card will give you eight entries into the Priority Pass lounge network every single year. And for those not familiar, Priority Pass is a very large network of airport lounges operated both domestically in the US as well as abroad. They could include things like showers and day beds, free food, free booze. 
typically, the ones domestically are pretty meh. But when you get out abroad, they can be some incredible experiences through the airport where you're not having to worry about food and Wi-Fi and even potentially showers. This card will also provide you a credit to global entry. When you have global entry, you automatically get TSA pre-check. Those are the people who get to keep on their shoes and they keep their laptops in their bags as they go through security. And the card provides you a $325 credit for things that cover travel as well as dining. Now the annual fee comes in at $400. Remember, there's a $325 credit that can be applied to travel and dining. Therefore, effectively, you're only paying $75 a year for the card. My verdict. This card is the only card on the list that's really focused on cash back. And the reason I wanna bring it up is because not everyone always wants to razzle dazzle, transfer partner this, transfer partner that. And some folks would rather just take their points in the form of cash because cash is tangible. At the end of the day, having one, two, three million points means nothing if you're unable to use them. And so it's kind of just like funny money. Whereas if you had 100,000 points and you convert that into $10,000 and you invest the $10,000, that's much more tangible use of those said points. And so I want to put this card on here for that reason, in addition to the fact that it's a 3x earning card as long as you attach it to a mobile wallet, which in the whole points and miles ecosystem, that's incredible as a base level earn. Caveat being that you have to be able to use mobile wallet. Number four, the American Express Hilton Aspire. Sign a bonus. You will earn 180,000 Hilton points after you spend $6,000 within six months. This 180,000 points is enough to put you at least two nights in an overwater villa over in the Maldives. And I'll get to that in the benefits section. Earnings. This card will earn 14 points per dollar spent at eligible Hilton properties. You'll earn seven points per dollar spent on select travel. That includes things like paying for airfare direct with an airline or through Amex travel, as well as car rental purchases through select vendors. You'll earn seven points per dollar spent on dining and three points per dollar spent everywhere else. Benefits. Just by having this credit card, you are going to get Hilton's diamond status, which is their highest tier status. This would then make you eligible for things like upgrades, all by just having the credit card without spending a single night at a Hilton. Yeah, we love that. The card will also give you a free night certificate to be used anywhere in the world, no blackout dates. So earlier, that 180,000 points, well, we can couple that with a free night certificate. You can potentially land three nights at an overwater villa in the Maldives. Specifically, I'm talking about the Conrad property they have out there. The card also will provide you a $400 credit to Hilton's every year that you can use $200 in the first half of the year and $200 in the second half of the year. You'll also be given a $200 flight credit that you can use as $50 credits every single quarter. And you'll get a $100 Hilton on property credit for booking two night minimum stays. And a non-travel benefit to call about this card is the fact that you can get purchase protection for items that you purchase that are either damaged, stolen, or lost. Yeah, if you just lose it, you can file a claim and that's limited up to $10,000 in a single claim and up to a limit of $50,000 of claims in a year. Annual fee. The card has a hefty annual fee. $550. But I would argue if you have a Hilton card, you're probably staying at Hilton. So you'll take advantage of that $400 Hilton property credit. Effectively, now the annual fee becomes $150. And if you fly enough and you were to want to charge it off to your Hilton card, $50 every single quarter, that's $200 of flight credits. Effectively, you could actually come out net positive 50 bucks for the card. But again, I think it's a little bit wishy-washy on whether or not you would actually use the flight credit just because I don't value earning Hilton points from spend so much as just getting a sign-up bonus. Verdict. If you're looking for a hotel credit card, this is the one. If you're trying to get to the Maldives and stay there for free, this is the one. In a pro tip, get a player two. So you have two people getting the card, two people getting the sign-up bonus, two people getting the free nights, try to pair them all together, and you might potentially get four, five nights put together in an overwater villa in the Maldives for free. And that, folks, is travel hacking. Piecing these type of things together and paying a fraction of the cost because you knew how to play the system. Number three, the American Express Gold. Sign-up bonus. This card is a sign-up bonus that ranges anywhere from 60 to 75,000 points after you spend $6,000 within six months. On the low end, this is maybe less than $600 of value. On the high end, well over $5,000 of value. And I'll tell you exactly how later in the video. Earnings. This card will earn four points for every single dollar that you spend at restaurants. You will also earn four points for every single dollar you spend at grocery stores with up to a limit of $25,000 of spend in the first year. If you go over that, you will earn one point for every single dollar you spend at a grocery store. This card will also earn three points per dollar spent on airfare for booking airfare direct with an airline or through Amex travel. And you'll earn one point for every dollar spent all other places. Benefits. 
The two that really stand out on this card are the $120 dining credit that you get every single year. They're split out monthly, so you get $10 per month. And the $120 Uber credit that can be used for Uber Eats or regular Uber that's also split out monthly, so it's again $10 every single month. Combined total, I would say that's $240 of an annual eating credit. The American Express Gold also has transfer partners, and here's where you can unlock potentially thousands of dollars in free value. With a plethora of transfer partners that I'll pull up on page right here, we won't go through every single one, but just as a quick example, Air France, or specifically the Flying Blue program, which is comprised of Air France and KLM. Right now, you can book flights from North America to Paris. Typically, if you're gonna fly in business class, that's gonna cost you anywhere from three to $5,000. Instead, it could be had for 50,000 points in three or $400 in taxes and fees. And as we remember, the sign-up bonus for this card can range from 60 to 70,000 points. And so one sign-up bonus from this card is enough to get you over to Paris in business class instead of having to pay thousands of dollars out of pocket. And if you're really determined, you can transfer your American Express points over to ANA, book a round trip business class ticket from North America over to Japan and back, and you'd be paying somewhere in the neighborhood of 75,000 points in low season. Again, that's incredible value for a ticket that would cost you thousands of dollars otherwise. Annual fee. This card does come with a $250 annual fee, but remember the $204 of total eating credits effectively makes this a $10 a year card. My verdict. I personally love the American Express Gold because not only is it a travel card, no foreign transaction fees, transfer partners, all that elevated earnings, but it's also just a great everyday card. Forex restaurants, Forex groceries, you don't have to travel to get value out of this card. And that's the other thing I wanna bring about travel cards. Oftentimes, yes, if you travel, you'll get more value, but sometimes just by having an elevated sign-up bonus, just by having elevated earnings, you don't always have to travel to get the maximum value of this card. And that's why I also like this card as an everyday card in my wallet. Coming in at number two, we have the Capital One Venture X sign-up bonus. This card will earn 75,000 points after spending $4,000 within the first three months. Similarly, on the low end, the 75,000 points could be worth a couple hundred bucks. On the high end, when you transfer effectively, thousands. Earnings. This card will earn 10 points per hour spent on prepaid hotel as well as car rental that you book through the Capital One travel portal, five points per hour spent on flights that you're booking through the Capital One travel portal, and two points per hour spent everywhere else. Benefits. This card offers a $300 credit for travel redeemed through the Capital One travel portal every single year. You'll also get a 10,000 mile or equivalent to $100 credit just by having the card every year and that credit can be stacked. So you don't have to use it every year, unlike the $300 travel credit. The Capital One VentureX will also give you access to priority pass and unlike the altitude reserve, it's not limited to eight, it actually is unlimited. And you can also bring in guests. And you can also add free authorized users to the Venture X. So let's say you wanna give it to a spouse or maybe one of your kids, you can add them as a free authorized user so they get a Venture X and then they can go and get a priority pass for free and they can go and enter priority pass airport lounges. They can bring in guests with them. This is one of my favorite benefits of the card because oftentimes if I think about other cards in this category, namely the Chase Sapphire Reserve as well as the American Express Platinum, those cards charge you to add authorized users, whereas with the Capital One Venture X, you can add free authorized users, and the free authorized users get the priority pass. This card will also give you a $100 credit to Global Entry slash TSA PreCheck. As far as transfer partners, there's a massive list, but one example that I'm actually redeeming for next year is I'm gonna be flying from Boston all the way to Manila in the Philippines. I'm flying in business class. Instead of spending $4,000, I'm actually gonna be redeeming 67,500 miles on Turkish Airlines. How I got those 67,500 Turkish Airlines miles is the fact that I transferred from my Capital One card. So instead of spending thousands of dollars, I'm just spending the miles plus the associated tax and fees, which are in the neighborhood about $500. Annual fee. This card has a $395 annual fee. But remember, you're effectively getting $400 of total travel credits. That would mean 395 minus 400 bucks. You're getting quote unquote paid five bucks to have the car. To really put that into perspective, Chase Sapphire Reserve, you'll effectively pay 250. American Express Platinum, you'll pay one to $200. The Venture X, which competes with all those premium travel cards, you get five bucks in your pocket. Folks, my final verdict on this card, jump on it yesterday. This is a card you should absolutely have in your pocket. If you spend $400 a year traveling, get the card. That's it, done, case closed, moving on. And coming in at number one, we have the no annual fee built MasterCard. It is the only travel card on this list that is 100% free. No need to use any credits, and it's one of my favorite credit cards for 2024. So with the built MasterCard, sign a bonus, non-existent. 
a bit of a miss, but you'll see why in just a second, and also why I'm okay with the fact that this card doesn't have a sign-up bonus. Earnings. This card will earn three points per hour spent on dining, two points per hour spent on travel, one point per dollar spent everywhere else, and one point per dollar spent on rent. Your largest monthly expense that today you are earning nothing for. You might be spending a thousand, two thousand, three thousand dollars a month, and you might just be cutting your landlord or your rental company a check. However, what if you were able to earn one thousand, two thousand, three thousand dollars a month? That could easily be twenty four, thirty six, forty eight thousand points a year, which now you're flipping your rent spend into free travel. Folks, a card like this has never existed before, and the mechanism in which it works is pretty brilliant. So you can either use your built MasterCard and swipe it if your building is part of the built alliance. So a ton of apartment networks around the country now are part of that. Easy, covers the transaction cost. Or built will give you an account number and a routing number, and you can use it to pay for rent. And so now it looks like as if it's a traditional ACH type of transfer. In addition, if your landlord doesn't like any of that, you can have built cut a check to your small time mom and pop landlord, and you will still earn the points. That's right, you can earn points for rent, forget about the transaction costs. This right here is why I'm so excited for this card. But in the benefit section, also show you why it's also a phenomenal travel card. The only thing you wanna remember about earning rent with the build card is that you have to use the card five times for a statement cycle, which in my opinion, isn't all that difficult. And you can earn up to 100,000 points from rent alone every single year. All the other points are completely uncapped. Now benefits. The first benefit of the built MasterCard is one that really puts this at the top of the list. It's transfer partner list. The built MasterCard transfers points to some of the most valuable hotel and airline programs in the game. Remember card number six, the Barclays American Airlines card? Nobody transfers to American Airlines unless you get a Barclays American Airlines card or a City American Airlines card. Chase, American Express, Capital One, City. Nobody transfers to American Airlines. However, the build card does. And so now you're taking your free rent, transferring it to one of the most valuable airline programs in the game. Come on now. In addition to transferring to American Airlines, Bill can also transfer to partners like Hyatt. But of course, that's not where the list stops. You've got Air Canada's program. You've got Emirates program. You have the Flying Blue program comprised of Air France and KLM. There are just so many valuable transfer partners and the fact that this card has no annual fee makes it an absolute slam dunk. The card also provides things like cell phone protection. It provides auto rental coverage. So if you rent a car, you can decline the coverage they try to sell you at the rental company. And as a card for renters, it also offers this feature called Build Protect, which is phenomenal. Let's say you have a $10,000 credit limit from Build and you've been swiping, 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 swiping all through the month. And now you've used $8,000 of your $10,000 credit limit. All of a sudden, rent is due at the end of the month. And if you swipe rent, you're gonna max out the card and it's gonna get declined. Well, if you enable Built Protect, what you can allow Built to do is connect directly to your checking account and you can have money drawn from your checking account applied directly to paying for rent without having to swipe it on your card and you still get the points for it and it protects your credit utilization. Now, if you're spending $8,000 of $10,000, pay that sucker down, you're hurting your credit score. But again, highlighting how consumer centric this card is in terms of delivering value to the renter. You've got things like trip delay insurance and trip cancellation interruption insurance. You also have no foreign transaction fee with the card. My final verdict and recommendation on this card is, if you pay rent, jump on the card. If you want a no annual fee premium travel card, jump on the card. Because all the cards we've talked about that have transfer partner abilities, AMX Gold, Capital One, they all come with an annual fee. Built is the only card, not just on this list that has no annual fee, but it's the only no annual fee premium card that offers the ability to transfer their points to somebody else. And that again is where you're going to unlock thousands of dollars in free travel. And that's the video. Thank you for sticking around. And if you'd like to support my channel in any way, I'd greatly appreciate it if you checked out some of my top card offers and sponsored links down below. And if you have any comments, questions, drop them there as well. I'll catch you on the next video. Peace.